Dear students, now we are going to solve important problems in direct form 2 structure using Z transform. The first problem is to realize the given linear time invariant discrete time system using direct form 2 structure. The given system is described using the difference equation y of n plus 1 by 4 y of n minus 1 plus 1 by 8 y of n minus 2 is equal to x of n plus x of n minus 1. We are going to realize the system using direct form 2 structure. In the solution part, let's start with the given data. So we have to write the given data as such. After that, we are going to take the Z transform on both the sides of the difference equation. So, is a transform of y of n plus 1 by 4 is a transform of y of n minus 1 plus 1 by 8 is a transform of y of n minus 2 is equal to is a transform of x of n plus is a transform of x of n minus 1. Is a transform of y of n is equal to capital Y of z. This capital Y of z represents the frequency domain signal that is the transformed signal. So next 1 by 4 is a transform of y of n minus 1. So y of n minus 1 means it represents the time difference signal. So here we are going to use the time difference property of the is a transform. So is a transform of y of n minus 1 is equal to z power minus 1 y of z. That is one delay. So we have to multiply this y of z with z power minus 1. For the next term. 1 by 8 is a transform of y of n minus 2 is nothing but here it is n minus 2. So we have to multiply y of z with z power minus 2. Correct? So 1 by 8 z power minus 2 y of z. That is equal to z transform of x of n is nothing but capital X of z plus z transform of x of n minus 1 is nothing but z power minus 1 x of z. So in the next step we are going to take the common terms outside from the equation. So in the left hand side y of z is the common term. So here we can take it outside. The remaining terms are here it becomes 1. 1 plus 1 by 4 z power minus 1 plus 1 by 8 z power minus 2 which is equal to in the right hand side x of z is a common term. We can take it outside. So x of z into 1 plus z power minus 1. So next we have to move this x of z to this side and move this expression to that right hand side. So y of z by x of z is nothing but h of z, the transfer function, okay. Next we are going to split that y of z by x of z into two terms by multiplying and dividing by this w of z. Hence this y of z by x of z becomes y of z by w of z multiplied with w of z by x of z. So here we can write that expression as y of z by x of z is equal to the numerator value is 1 plus z inverse into 1 by the denominator is 1 plus 1 by 4 z power minus 1 plus 1 by 8 z power minus 2. So next we are going to equate these two terms. Okay. That is y of z by w of z is equal to 1 plus z power minus 1 and w of z by x of z is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus 1 by 4 z power minus 1 plus 1 by 8 z power minus 2. So let's take each value separately. So first we are going to take w of z by x of z is equal to 1 by 1 plus 1 by 4 z power minus 1 plus 1 by 8 z power minus 2. Then we can cross multiply these values. We get the answer as w of z plus 1 by 4 z power minus 1 w of z plus 1 by 8 z power minus 2 into w of z which is equal to x of z. So from this we can get the value of this w of z. So we can keep this w of z this side and move all other terms to the right hand side with opposite side. So here w of z is equal to opposite sign means here it is plus right. So in this side it becomes minus. So x of z minus 
1 by 4 z power minus 1 w of z this plus 1 by 8 becomes minus 1 by 8 z power minus 2 w of z. So consider this as the first equation. Okay. Then we have to take the next expression that is y of z by w of z is equal to 1 plus z power minus 1. So again we have to cross multiply here. So y of z is equal to w of z into 1 plus z inverse. Multiply inside this we will get the y of z is equal to w of z plus z inverse w of z. So consider this as the second equation. So next we are going to draw the diagram or structure for these two equations and then combine these two structures to get the direct form to structure. Okay. Take the first equation. W of z is equal to x of z minus 1 by 4 z power minus 1 w of z minus 1 by 8 z power minus 2 w of z. So now we are going to take the straight line x of z is the input w of z is the output. So this w of z can be obtained by adding these three values right x of z minus 1 by 4 z power minus 1 w of z. We have x of z. The next value is what? Minus 1 by 4 z power minus 1 w of z. So here we are having w of z. So this value is given to one delay element that is z power minus 1. So at this point we can get z power minus 1 into w of z. Do you all understand? So we have to get this value. So for that we have to give this w of z to this delay element. Then these two values are multiplied. And then this value is multiplied with this minus 1 by 4. For that we have to give this value to this multiplier which is having the value minus 1 by 4. At this output we can have the value as minus 1 by 4 z power minus 1 w of z. So what is the next value? Minus 1 by 8 z power minus 2 w of z. So for that we have to give this z power minus 1 w of z to this another one delay element. Okay that is z power minus 1. Already z power minus 1 is there. So z power minus 1 into z power minus 1 w of z. So z power minus 1 into z power minus 1 means here we can get z power minus 2. Correct. So this value is multiplied with minus 1 by 8. Okay. So at this output we can get that value minus 1 by 8 z power minus 2 w of z. So now we have these three values all these three terms are added together to get w of z as the output. So this is the structure for this first equation. Similarly we can get the structure for the second equation. So in this equation w of z is Sorry, y of z is equal to w of z plus z inverse into w of z. Here w of z is the input, y of z is the output. So here y of z can be obtained by adding these two values. That is the w of z plus z power minus 1 w of z. So we have to give this w of z to one delay element that is z power minus 1. Then we can get the value as z power minus 1 into w of z. That is here multiplication value is 1. Okay. So that is given to this multiplier which is having the value 1. At this point we can have the same value. Okay. Then W of Z is there. By adding these two values we can get Y of Z. Okay. This is the structure for the second equation. Finally we have to combine these two structures together to get the direct form to structure. Here x of z is the general input. It is the general input for the system. y of z is the general output of the system. w of z is the intermediate value. Okay. So here this is the first equation value right. Here it is minus 1 by 4. Here it is minus 1 by 8. Here it is 1. At this point we can have z power minus 1 w of z at this point we can have z power minus 2 w of z okay this is the final structure of this system now i am going to explain the simple and easy method to draw direct form to structure using z transform here 
the discrete time system is described using the difference equation here the input is x of n the actual output is y of n so here in this direct form two structure the input is x of z output is y of z so in this direct form two there is one more term that is what w of z in between this x of z and y of z right so we have to make a point here so the next very important step is to find out the maximum number of delay used in this difference equation so here maximum number of delay is for this whole expression it is n minus 2 so n minus 2 means there are two delays required so here we can take the delay at the midpoint for this direct form 2 method so we have to take the first delay here at the output we can get the value z power minus 1 w of z correct so then we need to have one more delay that is what z power minus 1 delay element so next its value is z power minus 2 w of z that is the second step okay so next one is we have to consider the left side coefficients so we have to use this coefficients in the left side alone so here n minus 1 is nothing but z power minus 1 w of z which is multiplied with 0.6 okay so here we have to give this value to multiplier which is having the value 0.6 but it is not 0.6 you have to remember one thing the left side we have to use the opposite sign if it is plus we have to use minus 0.6 okay then we can take this output okay and then another value here y of n minus 2 is represented as z power minus 2 w of z so here it is multiplied with 0 0.7 so we can take this value here and multiplied with this minus 0 0.7 here it is plus right so minus 0 0.7 and add all these values okay add all these values together to get this do you all understand this okay so then come to this right hand side so right hand side we are going to use this coefficients as such so here we are going to take this n minus 1 means z power minus 1 term that is given to one multiplier which is having the value 0.5 here we are going to take the sign as such okay here it is point means it is also point so here it is 0.5 and then for this n minus 2 its coefficient is 0.4 so we have to give that value to this multiplier 0.4 okay and then add this together to this w of z also okay so this is the direct form 2 in a easy way okay similarly we can solve this problem also okay so here as we already discussed so here x of z that is the input and then o of z that is the actual output in between we are having w of z okay so here in this one the maximum delay used is 2 that is x of n minus 2 so here we are going to use two delays z power minus 1 and then one more z power minus 1 is that okay so next one we are going to take this left hand side in this left hand side we are having only one coefficient that is what 0.5 so we have to take this z power minus 1 as i told you o of n minus 1 means z power minus 1 here into w of z okay so we have to take this point which is multiplied with this 0.5 here we have to change the sign right so minus 0.5 and take this value add with this x of z okay so plus then come to this right hand side so here x of n plus 0.2 x of n minus 1 so x of n minus 1 means this one so this is given to this multiplier which is having the value 0.2 this is plus here we do not change the sign okay we have to use the sign as such and then take that value and that's and then n minus 2 means here we can take this value and it is given to this multiplier which is having the value minus 0 0.3 
and then add this two together and given this to this w of z and finally we can get the output y of z so this is what the answer the arrow mark is very very important here okay that is the answer